Hello students, parents, and teachers who are watching this video. As you watch this video and this lesson today, will you please keep in mind my, uh, my toll-free number? Hey, give me a call. If uh, you want to be a, a tutored by me and uh, on a flexible, customized learning schedule, I'd love to be your teacher. So take a look at the phone number there or visit my website and fill out an information form. I'd love to work with you a little bit closer, but for now, enjoy this free instructional video. So we're going to start today um, with actually a second video in this series, and it's about the parent function y equals x squared. Now these will result in a u-shaped graph, which is called a parabola. Now as you can see, I have an x-y chart, and I have some selected values for x, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now as I calculate those and I square those values, the y values, of course, become 9, 4, 1, 0, and 1, 4, 9 again. So on our graph, we have a u-shaped parabola. So I'm going to attempt to draw it here, connect the dots, and every point along this line solves that equation. So a typical shape here for a quadratic, which is a second degree function, y equals x squared. So that's the parent function. Now in this video, second in the series, I want to take a little bit of a, a variation of that and show you what happens. So how do we shift this right to left and up to down? So I want to show you what happens if we have um, quadratic equations that are in this form, y equals x minus some kind of quantity squared. Not just x, but we've, we're doing something to the x and then we're squaring it. And we're adding, or in some cases, subtracting a number on this side. Now in most math textbooks, you'll see this kind of a form, where this value right here is an h and this value right here is a k. All right, and what they'll tell you, you've probably seen this before, is that from that um, structure, when an equation looks like that, you pick out this h number and this k number, and that becomes your vertex. Now notice that in the parent function, those would both be 0. x minus 0 is still x, so there we go, x squared. And if you're adding 0 for the other part, obviously that's still going to be y equals x squared. So your vertex, when you look at that, is going to be at zero. All right? So let's look at this example and see what happens. y equals x minus 2 squared plus 3. In this example, the 2 becomes the x-coordinate of our vertex, and the 3 becomes the y-coordinate of our vertex. So we should be able to tell just by looking here if it's in vertex form that this number being subtracted inside parentheses is a 2 and this added on the outside is a 3. So notice how that would be a shift of 2 and a shift of 3. So we're going to go up 3 and we're going to shift it to the right Two. So let's go ahead and locate that vertex, positive 2, up 3, and then over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4, and over 3, up 9. All right, so we have now, not the vertex there, this is the vertex. So once we place the vertex, we can plot some points and figure out what the new parabola is going to look like. And it will roughly look like this. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. y equals x plus 5 quantity squared minus 2. So, if our equation is in that form, the vertex form, we should be able to pick out the fact that the vertex was going to end up at, uh, now let's take a look here. If it's adding 5, now in vertex form it says minus here. So, what are we really subtracting? We are subtracting a negative 5. And we are adding a negative 2. 
All right, so you really have to be careful about the signs. That means that our vertex must actually end up at negative 5, negative 2. So we plot that point, go back 5, and down 2, and the parabola now has shifted over here. Now we can go ahead and do an XY chart, or just from here we know that it's 1 over, 1 up, 2 over, 4 up, and so on. So it's just a shifted parabola. So roughly it's going to look like this. Now if we just need a sketch, that's great. If we need more accurate points to have an accurate curve, then of course we do an XY chart. So now on a piece of paper, uh, graph paper if you got it, um, the question is what do these parabolas look like? Obviously if it's a parent function y equals x squared, the vertex would be here at 0, 0. From there you should be able to look at these three equations and notice where the shift has happened. So give that a try and make a comment on this video if you'd like and we can check your answer. Alright, good luck and thanks for watching this video.